guys, it's Dion with My Fair Lawyer, and let's just get right to it. The slap heard around the world. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock because Chris Rock made a joke about Jada possibly starring in G.I. Jane 2. Now, G.I. Jane 1 starred in 1997 with uh, Demi Moore, who, I mean, noticeably shaved her head for the role. And we know that Jada Smith suffers from alopecia, a condition that prevents her hair from growing evenly in, um, on her head. And therefore, after years of struggling with her hair and, and dealing with this alopecia, she decided to cut her, cut her hair really short, shave her hair really short, and it looks beautiful. So now, Chris Rock's joke about Jada, I guess it struck Will the wrong way. But we saw his initial re reaction was he laughed. And then all of a sudden, he storms the stage and he smacks Chris Rock upside the face. And then he goes back into the audience, who is like noticeably stunned. And then he says, keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth. Now, legally, what just happened? Will Smith committed a battery. That's a crime. What is a battery? A battery is a physical act that results in harmful or offensive contact with another person without that person's consent. So now the element that we have to look at here, the elements that we have to look at are, we have an offensive, we have physical contact, right? Because Will Smith noticeably smacked Chris Rock on the face. And now do we have Chris Rock's consent? It doesn't look like it because Chris Rock, we see it live, is, this is not scripted and he is just like stunned. And then Will Smith's behavior, when he goes back, kind of defines his intention behind it. So we see that we have an offensive contact without consent, and we know that there was intent to do it. Now, Will Smith, people might say, well, yes, you know, it's free speech, free speech, he can do what he wants, and then, you know, no, no, no. Free speech, of course, let's go over that, is when an individual can articulate his or her opinion, without fear of retaliation, censorship, censorship, or sanctions. Now, Chris Rock made no defamatory comments. He didn't make any comments that was gonna incite a riot. He just made a plain joke. It might not have been a good joke, but he made a joke. And yeah, you know, if, if Chris Rock had made that joke and Will Smith had just laughed it off, I'm sure none of us would be talking about that G.I. Jane comment at all. It would have gone past and it would have been over. But because Will Smith took it to that other level, we're all talking about it. And we'll talk about it for a couple of days. But we know behind the scenes, Will Smith is not gonna be charged with battery. Chris Rock is not gonna bring charges against Will Smith. These guys are gonna talk it out, they're gonna apologize, and somehow they might find ways to make money out of the whole ordeal, all right? But what does it mean for you? What, it mean, what does it mean for me? Can we go around slapping people that make jokes that we don't like? Hell nah. We can't, all right? Because in the regular day-to-day, -day, you walk up to somebody and you smack them because you don't like what they said, you're gonna get arrested for battery. It's just that simple. So let's not, let's not handle poor jokes, comments that we don't like with physical assault, okay? That's not the way to do it. Now, some people suspect that Will may have been upset because maybe because of the entanglement issue some people said he looks soft whatever the reason battery is not the answer okay so he maybe some people are saying maybe he's trying to get his man card back or he's trying to get some street cred whatever the reason it's not an excuse we don't solve bad jokes with criminal activity we don't solve bad jokes with punches or slaps that's just it okay so for the regular folks like me and you that's not the way we handle business, all right? Until next time, like and subscribe. My Fair Lawyer, and I'm Dion. Bye for now.